Hey there lovely chosen ones how are you I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end welcome back This is your light in darkness and I am back again with another new update and important life purpose reading for all of you today Before starting with the reading allow me to express my gratitude for the beautiful loving amazing positive energy all of you are sending towards me may god bless you all with abundance in all of its beautiful forms and without wasting any of our time let's begin with today's reading today's life purpose reading revolves around and highlights this challenge this issue of people's relationships marriages engagements or personal life getting affected or uh, disturbed by other people's habit of gossiping backbiting interfering and unnecessary trouble making okay now this is not some uncommon thing to see come across or witness people who have a habit of gossiping about other people's relationships or whatever is going on in their marriage or family these people usually do not pay attention to their own intentions and the after effects of their gossip their wrong doing their back bitching side eyeing and interfering in other people's lives or talking about other people's personal affairs or business relationships in general these people usually do not care about what may happen with them what may come around even for their own self they do not care much about that but as a chosen one we need to care we need to pay attention and we need to be careful and mindful enough of not repeating these patterns and simply doing whatever we can to avoid these things from happening either within our own life or within our surroundings maybe not by projecting ourselves or imposing ourselves or our views and beliefs onto others but simply by being and living as a positive example that's the least we can do okay with that being said we can also help others assist others and make others aware of what happens and what may happen by this habit of talking shit by this habit of gossiping unnecessarily when you don't even know what actually is going on sometimes your words you said behind someone's back sometimes those rumors those lies can have a very bad effect onto that concerned person's life this can even cause their marriage their relationship or their family to fall apart we do not want that right do we no absolutely not so we can do what we can in our capacity to bring as much awareness as much as we can for people to know that there are two things to do when you either hear someone gossiping about you or when you hear someone gossiping about someone in your presence in front of you we can simply avoid these kind of gossips we can simply avoid getting engaged in such gossip or such talks or we can intervene as a positive example bringing forth another perspective or a new topic to be conveyed or discussed which would revolve around healing relationships building them empowering them 
collecting them instead of destroying them or disrupting them. Can we do that? I'm sure we all can. We may not be able to stop these people from, you know, spreading negativity because it is also dependent on their willingness to change and accept the truth as well as become mindful and aware about the consequences of their mistakes. Some of them may realize, some of them may not, but we as chosen ones can just live our lives as a positive example to help people shift their focus from this negative habit towards cultivating and nurturing positive ones which would revolve around or focus upon building relationships and bringing love within relationships instead of fault finding instead of cursing blaming instead of you know interfering in people's personal affairs or businesses or within marriages. You may see this happening even within families. Sometimes elders, sometimes sisters, sometimes other people in the family talk and gossip about other family members or their personal affairs. This shouldn't happen. Sometimes you may see mothers doing that, elder sisters doing that, even younger ones, because they've learned that from their elder ones. This should not happen. This brings a lot of fear in the person who's getting talked about or who's getting targeted in the gossips or, you know, these kind of unhealthy conversations. It is not healthy for that person. It literally affects that person's mental health. It affects that person's personal life their marriage or their relationships or in general it affects all the relationships and their uh, quality within a family we shouldn't do that we shouldn't focus on what isn't happening according to our expectations because we don't even know where our expectations rise from or arise from most of these people operate out of jealousy envy unhealthy competition, insecurities, fears, doubts, dilemmas and whatnot. They simply speak about other people's affairs and business because they do not find anything else to focus on. They think that this is the only thing that's going to give them some uh, happiness or some joy or some sort of satisfaction but it doesn't do that. It only creates or causes disruption into people's lives and in return that person also brings that up in their own personal life when you destroy other people's lives by spreading lies or rumors or by gossiping you bring that back into your life right so it isn't going anywhere it isn't leading people anywhere towards positivity okay we need to understand that right so what we can do to change the situation we can simply help people understand that this is not the best way of living and being. If we are in a family, if we are getting into a family or if we are just in a position to help people, guide people, lead people in any way, shape or form, we can bring forth this knowledge and this awareness that we must avoid talking about other people's affairs, what is going on in their personal life, how they are you know, maintaining their marriages or their relationships or how they are dealing with them. It's none of our business, especially when you do not know what actually is going on. Especially when you think that you know better or you think that you are a know-it-all. No, you never are a know-it-all. You, you can never know it all. There's always going to be something you don't know because you don't live with that person. You do not live with that person 24-7, 365 days a year. So be careful with your words, be careful with your deeds because they always come back and they'll backfire on you. We need to remember that, right? So our focus should be on building relationships. Our focus should be on building healthy boundaries within relationships and helping people feel comfortable either within a relationship or within a marriage or family dynamic. That's how we'll be able to create a better world 
for all involved not making someone fearful or insecure or doubtful of their own worthiness of being either in a relationship or a family we do not want that so what we can do we can assist people we can guide people we can help people in healing the trauma they are dealing with if something as such happened with them they can heal that we can become a catalyst for that change to happen or someone who just holds the much needed knowledge awareness light or insight to help those who are suffering because of this or help those who kind of are on the edge with this habit but they want to change or they can change if they come across a person like you or if they find insights new perspectives some people as i said in the beginning are going to listen to you and they'll change their ways some may not but still it's our job to do what we can to help in eliminating this issue this um, unhealthy pattern whatever you can name it whatever you can call it depends on you from our surroundings from our lives or at least from our own selves if you find yourself ever being involved in gossip or discussions about someone else's personal affair their marriage their relationship or how someone is handling that kindly avoid it much better if you can speak out and say this is not healthy and i do not subscribe to these kind of ideas you better change your ways or it would be much better that we stop talking about such things or i don't have any other choice but to walk away from this conversation or this discussion this way maybe some of them are simply going to feel that it isn't the right thing to do some of them may reflect over your reaction and they may change their ways some of them may get triggered and they may start talking or gossiping about you which is fine which is absolutely fine still we shouldn't become part of such things to the least provoking people to do that or get involved into such topics or discussions right i am not saying that you you know shout on the people who do these things or you know get into fights with these kind of people who gossip and bitch about other people i'm not saying that i am simply saying you as a chosen one can be a positive example for these people to see that there's a better way of living and being okay you can be in that negative situation and choose to act differently or speak differently that's what i'm saying because sooner or later one way or the other you will come across such sort of people or you are going to find yourself in such situation where someone would definitely be talking about someone else's personal affair business marriage commitment or relationship someone may on purpose try to bring down a person who has recently entered into a family maybe as a daughter in law or son in law possibly there are people who like to put other people down so that they can feel powerful and superior especially women you see in families so as a chosen one as a much evolved enlightened aware one we can do much better than following our elders or others who act like this we can simply bring in the change it can start within your own family with your own family by having healthy discussions or helping people understand that this is not a good way of living and being we shouldn't let anyone feel insecure doubtful unworthy of love and affection because we hold certain assumptions or uh, belief systems or mindset about that one particular thing we are holding on to which shouldn't even be there in our mind some of these uh, gossip and uh, lies and rumors or just discussions unhealthy insane irrational senseless discussions do not have any real basis they do not even hold truth to their depth so 
we can help people see differently we can help people get the real knowledge real awareness real insights right with our knowledge with our awareness so that's the least we can do always remember why you're here and what your purpose is your purpose is always to challenge those destructive patterns or you know generational curses templates which do not bring anything positive except destruction and disruption into people's lives that's what i'm trying to say okay so i hope that you got the point of this reading and you understood the whole message if that's what happened to let me know in the comment section below and feel free to hit the like button to subscribe for more such content and for more such deeply insightful thoughtful and clarity filled readings to be readily available for all of you on a regular basis with that being said do not hesitate to follow through with the link given in the description box below if your heart says so if you feel like you'd like to contribute or donate something out of love kindly do so also if any of you are interested in taking personal life purpose reading kindly contact me or consult with me through way of my given email address provided in the description box below that's all signing off taking leave will be back sooner than later till then take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye